Okay. So first off, Pete, thank you for taking a little bit of time. I know you're really busy. Uh, I, you, you've done, you've done amazing with your career. You've done, you've done a bunch of stuff. So thank you for like, giving me a little time to talk to you about the movie. I love the movie, action pack. I couldn't breathe. It was like action <laughs> everywhere, so dynamic. No, I loved it. I'm not, I'm not kidding. It's no. just something that, that I mean, it, it didn't let you, you know, getting, let, let you any, give you any, any stop. So, First off, I gotta say that I, I, one one of the things that I love talking about to, talking to you guys, production designers and cinematographers specifically, I think you guys don't don't get enough credit for what you guys do uh, to bring to to the project. So again, thank you for your time, Pete. No, thank you. Appreciate it. So again, I, like I said, let's start talking about how dynamic is this movie. And and I get I, like I just said, I think your your job is really important because basically you're you're painting the story, you're giving life to the story. Um, because the story is dynamic, uh, it, there are too many pieces moving. Um, yeah. It's a lot of action. What did you find was the most difficult thing? What do you think is the most difficult thing in constructing this specific uh, uh, movie? Uh, probably the location. Uh, it was an hour away from pretty much everything on the top of a mountain. Something, one thing breaks down, one car breaks down. It's an hour and a half, you know. So that was the biggest thing getting everything we needed from down below, let's say, up to the up to the location at the top of the mountain. And then placing it in the one, two, three, four, five different locations on this property. That was the biggest thing. Um, I, I, going through that line, to follow up to the, to the question to that one, um, we have a lot of props going on. We have a lot of gunfight, well, gunfighter, gun, uh, gunfights. We have a lot of uh, moving oh, yeah. parts. Yeah. Um, what is your, how, how much of say do you have in that process when it comes to talking to the director about where should I put, what do you want here or how do you want this? How much say do you have in that specific process? Um, well, it's, it's a lot. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a 50, 50 thing, no matter with the DP and the director, we'll all get together and say, what do you need? Uh, James knew what colors he wanted on this. He wanted to watch the skin tones against the walls. We had to paint all the walls in the house. Um, he was like, he was think, talking about colors. He mentioned a few. I mentioned that I'd like to go with a, a pale blue kind of thing. Uh, and he was like, yes, that works. So uh, it's communication, you know, compromise. And, uh, and we all want to make the goal is all the same. So uh, I'm there to enhance his vision. Mm -hmm. And if he has something, that I, you know what, because I mentioned one thing, I said, hey, let's put the one guy in a kilt. He's like, no. I'm like, all right, just thought I'd ask. I'd like to see him in a kilt. <laughs> Again, it's, it, I think both version designers and cinematographers have such a huge base for huge roles on the movies. Um, what is there a specific you know, the specific, uh, uh, I want to say like a the specific cycle that you work through or is there a specific way that you already have thought of stuff that you want to do uh, when you first get the project or is it something uh, like you said, uh, uh, or does it, everything goes, start uh, getting done organically as the movies is being shot or is it just, you get the, you get the, the script and then you start, okay, this is where I'm going to go. Yeah, I mean, um, it all starts with the process. When I get a script, I'll look at it, break it down. But when I read it, um, my vision, like when you read a book, you're in the woods, you, you make the woods in your head. So when I'm reading something, I'm already thinking, okay, all right, we're in a house. What, are, what can it look like? What do we need on the walls? What's the character like? So I start putting my feel on what I'm reading. He put his feel on it. And then he's like, this is what I have in mind. And then you say, okay, but can we do this? Yes, let's add that to it. That's the texture. The DP will say, hey, I can shoot it like this. And I think we do this. And then it becomes, oh, yes. And, that, and that's how, and that, and that happens organically through the thing. Um, for example, we, one of the turns, the car thing was like, not why discussing how, you know, how can we do this? How can we do this? Somebody says, let's just push it back a little further. And yes, that's it. Good, do it. So you, you yeah, just, yeah. You just answer my next question because okay. again, there's so many moving parts in this movie. It's really dynamic. It's really fun. There's so many moving parts. 
how do you grasp everything? How do you how, how do you do you do you maintain yourself sane? You know to understand. You're laughing because you know where I'm going. I, I, I know. Again, I mean the 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 thing with this movie is really dynamic. There are a lot of stuff moving. There are a lot of stuff happening. So how between takes? How do you keep yourself sane? Understanding. Okay, where are we at right now? <laughs> Well, it's like there was a lot of action before during prep and there was a lot of action shooting the movie uh, kind of went hand in hand. Next time I'm going to film one to show everybody what happens. Um, it's a it's a process. You know, uh, I enjoy I enjoy myself whenever I can all the time, because that's the thing. I'm ha I like what I do. So throw it on at me and uh, and and we'll do it. You know, I, I try and, but again, on a serious note, it's making sure you have all your ducks in a row. That's the biggest part. Know what you need, know what you don't need. And that takes the what, what if all out of the equation. I got to ask, I do like me when, when, I, when I produce something that I have check marks of stuff like a less of, of, of this is something that are you that organized because I am like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a book with check marks in it. Then I put it on the computer. So I remember because I transferred all on a computer and those have check marks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot, <laughs> I of, a lot, a of, lot of scrap paper. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about I, I have to write I write everything down because I don't write anything down I, for some reason. No. That's my to do list, honestly. Yep. So I, I have to share that with you. Yes. Um, I want to talk about the director I and mean, he has like a cameo on the movie. Um, how did that, how did that come about? How did the interaction with the two of you came up with that with the with the with the cameo of the director have came about? Well, I uh, that was funny, James. Um, I've known James since 2000. 13, I think, 10, 13, somewhere around there. I worked with him in Thailand on a horror movie that he did. It was fantastic, that one. Um, so uh, when he called me to do this one, I, I already knew how he shoots, what he likes, what he needs. Um, so, yeah, I, you know. <laughs> it's the same thing, <laughs> kind of. Yeah. I, I want to start talking about the casting now, which is amazing. Child Michael Murray, I love him obviously, and and Bruce Willis is a, is a nice guy. But you had the opportunity to, to talk to to work with so many people. Is 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 the approach with the actors changes through a different project, or it's just, is your approach the same? No, it's a, the, the the constant. It, the approach stays consistent pretty much. You know, it's like talking to you. It's like, hey, how you doing? What do you need? You know, hey, Pete, can we get, you know, I want, can we you know, paint this wall a different color maybe? Usually they don't ask that, but it's always a quick report. And I'm, I see them when I can. On these little ones, I stay on set as much as possible, um, especially if there's no art director and it's just me. This way I could troubleshoot problems. Um, most of the time we're on call, but I'd rather be there in case anything's needed anyway. You know, so, um, so I always have a good rapport with, with talent. I keep in touch with some of the guys. Um, I want to maybe one final question before I let you go. Um, the characters are so awesome. And did you have any input in the way they're, they're presented? Because I, I saw I saw so many, you know, uh, tributes like to Harley Quinn and to the Joker with without anything oh, to yeah, spoilers, yeah, yeah. right? You saw it also. You saw yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I but that, that was awesome. I just I was like, I was seeing the movie was like, Okay, are they are they like channeling Harley Quinn and the Joker? And they're I mean, there's so many things yeah. happening here. Did you have any input with the with the yeah. actors specifically? No, no. Them, hey, you should on go this, there. Sorry, uh, yeah, on this particular one, no, no. James knew what he wanted, um, and and all his reference photos for wardrobe and stuff were pretty much that. So he knew, um, and as far as talent's concerned, once he communicated that. I want you like this. Oh, got it. And then talent just runs with it. And those guys are great. Yeah. Chad, I, 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 Bruce, I, I, you know, I, everybody I'm, great. I, I glad, I'm glad you cut my, you got, you cut my, my caveat there, my, my tidbit of uh, my, because I loved it. I mean, yeah. I saw it when I was watching the movie. It's like, these two are just blowing it out of the, just out of the ball, at the ballpark, the ballpark with yeah. their performances. I'm not kidding. Finally, yeah. um, obviously you have to work uh, uh, hand in hand with the whole production crew. Um, how much input do you get, give the, the wardrobe department, the, the hair, hair styling? How much do you have hands on with them? Normally a lot. Normally I'll go with the director into wardrobe, pick out outfits and looks and stuff like that. 
hair and makeup, the same thing. Some directors don't. They know what they need. So, and I'm not going to, I don't need to sway them for, for that. You know, uh, if, it, if it fits in, sometimes you'll get, hey, we should have went with a blue on the wall or change his shirt. Sometimes that happens on a lot of movies where talent will come on. And even though you thought it'd be great against that wall, it doesn't look good. That's why they do color tests and stuff beforehand. So they know some of them pre know some of them you can't, but um, yeah. So Pete, again, thank you for oh. taking your time, but it was really fun talking to you. Honestly, I, I'm glad that we connected with a yeah, bunch yeah. of the I love the wall. We I love all the stuff behind you too. I love those collections. Yeah, that's, this is my setup. This is me. Yeah, it happens all it. the time. Thank you again for your time yep. and congratulations on the movie. My pleasure. Ciao.